the extent of our global energy requirements has long since exceeded what we are able to imagine. In 2011, the world's population passed the 7 billion mark. Average per capacitor energy consumption today is already well above 20,000 kilowatt hours per year. Both these figures are growing exponentially. The course for a sustainable future is being set today in almost infinitesimally small dimensions, down to the sizes of a billionth of a meter, in the world of atoms and nanotechnology. Professor Kostya Ostrikov lives and works here, plus he's at home in the realm of nanotechnology at the same time. I got interested to study physics uh, when I was uh, in high school and uh, that was uh, because of the inspiration given to me by my physics school teacher. You can see it's raining, but I like this place even when it rains and uh, this place is really very good to get inspiration. And uh, we used to come here with my dog and uh, during those long bush walks I was uh, thinking on my next step in research, in life and uh, about what we can do to make our life better. This is Linfield National Park near Sydney, Australia, where the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, is located. My scientific dream is to be able to achieve the uh, ultimate efficiency in the use of energy. As CEO, science leader and future fellow at CSIRO Materials Science and Engineering, he's an international pioneer in the field of plasma nanoscience. His research looks at the effect ionized gases, called plasmas, have on micro and nanoscale objects. Plasma is uh, the fourth state of the matter. So as you know, the matter can be in solid, liquid and gaseous state. But plasma is uh, yet another one. It's an ionized gas state. Many people think that it's uh, very hard to control the plasma. But in fact, with uh, enough knowledge, one can easily do that. Of course, plasma can be freaky. It can be unstable. It can glitter. It can flash. It can, uh, uh, in some cases, be difficult to produce. But once you know how to do it, it's really, really easy. These effects of plasmas can lead to future-orientated materials and technologies that should be capable of appeasing our globally growing appetite for energy. If we learn how to save energy at the very, very bottom, at the nanoscale, we would be able to save energy globally. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first Building Future Award 2012, Professor Kostya Ostrikov.